So the Lambo Fly is um, an international um, command RC controlled uh, electric airplane competition. So this takes place every year, um, usually in April. And uh, this year it's going to be in Tucson. So what we have to do is um, the contest rules are released in September and we have to able to design, fabricate, and manufacture an uh, original design airplane um, given uh, the specified mission profile. And the contest itself is sponsored by um, AAA, Cessna, and Raytheon. Move on to our team. So our team is quite big. Uh, we have um, a little under 50 people enrolled in the class. So um, we divide up our team structure into uh, basic um, aircraft components. And uh, we also, for the, the team leads, we have the chief engineer and two project managers. And we also uh, have um, various advisors that assist us with um, the design process and give us uh, feedback. Um, the team communication. So for our team, there are two main channels uh, to communicate to uh, all the members. We have the uh, general weekly meeting, those are Monday, and that's when we give updates um, on how we're doing um, and let uh, everyone know um, how the project's going and also what time we're, we're working. And um, we also have discussions for um, by this side. And we also have the weekly team leader meetings. Um, those are just with team leaders, uh, shown before from this slide. And that's um, more, we go over logistics, and then we also go over management, and if they need materials or anything, and we also discuss the design. So for documentation, uh, we've implemented an engineering change order system. Uh, this is all I've done on uh, Google Docs, and what it is is um, every time you make um, a design change, um, say the mentionings or just um, major design changes, um, you have to submit one of these, and that must be approved by one of the team leaders and also the chief engineer. So manufacturing forms, um, those are just to help out the team leaders when they're working, because uh, we work with very um, different materials, and we also need to keep track of weights and stuff. Um, that's used to record weights, and also um, for the team leaders to keep track of what uh, uh, they have schedules they used before, um, so they can try anything. Um, also, we have documentation team. Um, that team is responsible for detailed documentation of, of all the manufacturing processes, and they also take pictures. Also, we're working on a 60-page design report. Um, this design report um, is uh, well actually due this, due, due this weekend, and what it is is um, we have to document the entire design process from the start to all the way to the finish. So cost and expenditures. Um, so we have a budget uh, of approximately four thousand um, dollars. Majority of it is spent on travel um, because we have to go to uh, Arizona actually this year. Wait, how much is your budget again? Huh? You said how much is your budget? Approximately four thousand dollars. Okay. And the composites. Um, so composites would be like carbon fiber and carbon glass and also uh, Kevlar and motors and batteries. Um, that also takes up a big amount of our budget because we need uh, new electronics for every plane. The rest, um, molding tools. Um, they're sort of just approximately not too much. But so our district's competition is called a remote sensor delivery drop system. Uh, the competitions usually divide up into ground missions and flight missions. Ground mission this year is a speed loading time. Uh, we have to load payload in the form of wooden balls and also a five pound um, wooden uh, cube or block. So that's timed, and we also have three flight missions. The first flight mission is just an empty flight mission where we try to fly as many flights as possible in four minutes. Um, the course is shown here. 
you have to do go, go and then maybe turn and do 360 and come back. And this is the same course for all three flight missions. The second flight mission is where we have to uh, do three time laps with the five pound payload. Uh, and the, the, the last mission is we have to be carried with balls and um, these need to be dropped every lap and your score is just based on how many laps you do. So design parameters have a concern. Um, so based off the mission rules, we have, um, we, we are given a score and and for the score, um, several major things affect it. Uh, the first thing is light weight. Um, the weight of the plane uh, directly affects the score, so that's a big uh, factor. Also, it must be fast to uh, be competitive. Uh, also, minimum number of servos. So, uh, servos are actuators, but um, in this competition, servos are defined as any mechanical electronic device that helps uh, maneuver the plane or uh, actuate the release mechanism. So right now we have um, so three servos, so two servos to control the control surfaces, and one servo is the speed controller for the boat. Also, we need um, enough thrust to make a 60 feet takeoff. This is mainly uh, a concern for the second mission with the five-pound payload. So after we figure out our design parameters, we uh, conduct the figures of merit study. Um, so different configurations for every uh, subcomponent is scored based on design parameters. So for example, for wings, uh, we consider um, high wings and low wings, and also um, biplane and uh, flying wing configurations. And based on, on um, factors such as, um, such as drag or uh, lift, um, that was decided. Um, so, for the final design, we decided um, to go with conventional low wing, so seen here, and then conventional tail, which is just um, in the back. And then um, we're going with the tail dragon landing gear. So, what that is, is um, it just sits on its back and it has two wheels in the front. And then we're also using a single tractor motor, you see in the front here. So for the design process, um, to get the actual dimensions, uh, we go off of, um, we start with baseline aircraft, and then uh, we go through um, enter the aircraft dimensions, and we have a man lab uh, code that uh, simulates the airplane in flight. So it does a propulsion model, weight buildup, and drag buildup, and um, that gives us our mission model. So from the mission model, we are able to determine our score and um, determine whether or not um, this gives us the maximum score. So we just keep going through iterations until we um, find aircraft that's suitable. So now for subsystems. Uh, the first subsystem is the wings and tails. So for our, for our project, uh, this is a big um, team. Um, it's actually divided into two. So the first one is ball structures. Um, mainly they use uh, laser cut balsa wood um, and they have um, a jig that helps the manufacture uh, these balsa wings. So the jig ensures uh, consistent uh, wings produced every single time and helps assist with the manufacturing. Also, this year we decided to start um, testing and experimenting with a mold leading edge. So mold leading edge is uh, can be seen here, and this would essentially replace um, the front uh, leading edge. So what this is is um, it's made of Kevlar, and it would um, help take the load of the wing during flight. And what it does is um, it would actually lighten uh, the wing. So we produced a prototype with the mold leading edge, and currently it is lighter but um, it does not support um, the required loading. So we just have to do some additional testing with that. So the next subsystem is a landing gear. For landing gear, um, you can see here, these yellow things. So the landing gear is integrated into the carbon structure. The carbon structure um, forms the base of the plane. And what the, car, what the landing gear is, is um, balsa wood 
reinforced with um, Kevlar to keep it from derailing. And also with the fuselage, um, as I mentioned, it's mostly made in carbon frame and uh, boom runs a lot connecting the motor and the tail. And also um, for the loading, to assist with loading, we have balsa payload doors and um, we, it's also fared out and then um, we have a marine light skin to uh, keep it aerodynamic. So for front fairing, um, this is a molded front fairing. And it's reinforced by foam. Um, this is a thing we started last year and we've actually improved it a lot this year. And also for the release, that's a big part of the mission this year. What we have to do is drop the balls and um, we can serve two systems. We have the rails, which would be carbon rods running uh, parallel with the boom, um, but that would produce a lot of drag and it also weighs more than this system. What this system is, is individual 3D printing clips. Um, uh, each ball would be, uh, each wiffle ball would be uh, hooked onto here and um, each one drops as the elevated input um, goes downward and it triggers a ratchet system which clicks each uh, clip to release. The last two subsystems is motor mount. The motor mount is um, used to mount the motor to the boom. Um, it's a carbon fiber molded um, piece from uh, using a 3D print mold. Uh, we use 3D print mold because it's um, because as we can use it to um, produce uh, quick prototypes and also uh, because we can get accurate dimensions from it. And then also for propulsion, we've gone with uh, new motors 1105 and uh, two parallel 12 cell 1500 milliamp hour uh, nickel metal hydro batteries. Um, this is to uh, make sure we make a 60 foot takeoff for our mission too. So that results in design additions. As I mentioned before, the mold leading edge was um, something that we started trying this year. Also, we've adopted that extensive use of 3D printing for app prototyping. Um, we use uh, several um, 3D printed parts uh, for the airframe components and also for molding and making specialized tools. That's something we also uh, started doing uh, recently. So, um, the specialized tooling from 3D printed parts uh, ensures quality parts made every single time and consistently. And we also improved on the molding techniques. For plans, uh, currently we're testing prototype two. Actually, they're uh, doing test flight as we speak right now. And also we have to complete our written design report. Um, that's also an aspect of the competition that's uh, due this weekend. So our goal is to build uh, two more planes. Um, before April, and our competition is April 10th, uh, 12th, Tucson, Arizona.